Hello world, Ophelia here, and welcome back to Pokemon Reborn, and welcome back to another voiceover episode that I recorded like a week and a half ago and didn't do anything with because I couldn't find the chance to do a voiceover for it. But uh, yeah, so I missed a lot of days, as I'm sure you all could tell, and uh, I just missed one day and I was like, okay, it's not bad, I'll upload two videos the next day, and It'll be fine, and then I fell behind, and then things started getting crazy again, and, um, yeah, so I recorded this extra long video to make up for it, and I thought that'd be okay, and then I am doing the voiceover for this a week later, and I'm gonna be honest, I don't really remember what happens in this video, so this will be fun for all of us to see. Uh, oh yeah, that's right, the... Daycare couple, it's not the daycare couple. <laughs> yes, um, Team Meteor. These two remind me like so much of Jesse and James from the show, and uh, pretty wonderful actually. <laughs> so, yep, battle with these guys. Oh yeah, what the heck kind of Pokemon is that one? The Jang Mo O thing? So I've got no idea. Looks like it should be like It looks like a dinosaur. Which makes me instantly think dragon. Which I know isn't right, but it's what I see when I'm looking at it. And it's weird. It looks like electric dragon. But it also looks like it's a pre-evolved form, which makes me think there's more to its line. I'm gonna guess I have no idea what it is. Even now, like I realize maybe I should like look it up because I'm still really curious. But I've got no idea what that is. Oh, I just, for a second I was like, what's up with my uh, Numa? Why is the back of its head all black? And then I just realized that this Fubat just has that big of a sprite that it's covering it. I'm going to ask, doing this whole voiceover thing, uh, I can't hear the sound in the video. I know you guys are going to be able to hear the sounds because I did like a small test recording of this earlier. And, yep, see, Dragon Tail gotta be dragging something. But yes, um, so I did like a quick like one minute recording of this and I realized I wasn't hearing sounds so I stopped it and played it all back and you could hear the sounds in the playback of it which is what you guys are going to be hearing and all that. But like right now like I'm talking over this can't hear any music can't hear anything Kind of weird. Oh, yep, and I got a Roselia brought out. Now it's just gonna be good. Hmm, I brought the Kulava back out. But yeah, I remember these two were a lot more difficult than I thought they'd be. A lot more. And this thing keeps using Protect. Hmm. realize now like in a voiceover thing like yeah I'm supposed to be commenting on the video but there's like more I could be saying when I'm playing and not doing a voiceover which kind of gonna be bad because I got like three more feeds that I've recorded because again it's just easier to record it and not do the voiceover because I can be playing it at any time and not worrying if people are here if they're gonna get picked up in the recording this thing I still don't know what it is. I still keep wanting to say, like, rock grass or rock psychic. But yeah, I remember this thing now. Can you just magical leaf do anything? 
not really. So something on its counteracting the rock, which I still think it is. Maybe. Yeah, there we go. Like, looking at it now, it looks like a psychic Pokemon. Okay, and I remember here getting, like, so excited, like, ah, uh, I beat these guys. Yay. Yep, and they remember me. I really like that, uh, I know I mentioned this in another video, but I really like that, uh, all the grunts have actual names. So if you fight them again, it's like, oh yeah, I remember you, and I don't know, it's kind of nice, like it gives, it's not just Team Meteor Grunts, Team Meteor Grunts, whatever. Yeah. I feel like there was a lot I did in this episode, as I'm sure you can see by the fact that this is an hour long, but, uh, sorry, I went in here already because that was a trade, and oh, yep, I remember this part now. Okay, this, I don't think this part's important, so, well, I mean, stuff's going on, but it's not necessary. I can skip to the good part, which is what I'm going to do. Oh, wait, I left the slums. Why did I leave the slums? Maybe I'm not. Maybe you are just going to see me wandering around for a bit. Corporate names. Hmm. What am I doing here? Is this what you all feel like when I'm just like playing normally and not knowing what I'm doing? What am I doing here? I am moving the Swoobat. I remember what I'm doing now. Okay, I remember now. I remember. So, yep, we do need to go back into the Obsidia slums. South Obsidia Ward slums here. This area. Because there is something really important that I missed. And, uh... Yeah, I'm going to skip to when we get it, because this is just me going through there to get it. Be right back. Okay, here, this part right here. I could move this box, and I've moved it the wrong way, obviously. So, reset that. But I can move the box and get back here. Which is uh, what I did. And there was another one of these puzzles. Which... I think I figured out a lot easier than the other ones because those other ones tricked me. I'm not even gonna lie, I got stumped. And there's still a lot of Pokemon in here that I actually haven't caught yet. Um, yes, I'm actually thinking of doing maybe like when this is all over and I can go back to my friend's house because that's where I live streamed videos before because I don't have a Twitch account, so I use his and he's always the guest in uh, the videos. And he also got a camera so we can do face cam on as well. But uh, I think I'm doing a stream of just trying to go back and get as much Pokemon of all like the ones that I've missed. Because there's a lot that I've missed. And I know that. For example... 
I still don't have one of the pan jams, which I've actually run into a lot in and out of here. In my... Okay. It's lost, kind of. Something I'm missing in here, maybe. Nope. All that stuff that I... Doesn't get seen. But yeah, back here. Remember when I first came in here, I was trying to get this thing over here? It's a Pokemon egg. It's like so excited about it. Like, look at it. And I like that it's a blue color because it's not just like the normal white egg with the blue spots like you see in there. But uh, yeah, we got an egg. Okay, so now we're at the slums, we're back to the Pokemon Center. And, uh, as happy as I was to get that egg. So, uh, I'm training for a gym right now. Can't have the egg with me. I need that extra Pokemon in case things go awfully. Which, we all remember how the fight with Julia went. So, yep, egg is back into the PC. And what am I doing now? Is that like what do you guys think when you're watching these videos? What is she doing now? Why is she doing this? Because that's kind of what I'm thinking right now. What am I doing? Okay, going back into the Onyx Ward. As you can tell, I am on fast forward. Um... Oh yeah, these guys wouldn't let me in. I'm talking to the other guy. They're just not letting me in that way. Pretty sure I fought all of these people. Yep, and they're talking about all the gym leaders. So yep, I went back in here and look who I find! Fern. He's being all mean about it. Doesn't want me to challenge his sister, which is ridiculous. Call me unworthy and all that. Mm. Meanie. So anyway, he kicks me out of the gym. And obviously I had to find a new way around. Which... There we go, we're running now, we're good. Yeah, now that I can get in, uh, all these trainers are gonna try to stop me. Which again, it's ridiculous. Why would you not want me to fight a gym leader? She is the gym leader, it's what she does. Yeah, but anyway, trainer school over here, which is pretty cool. I think that's really cool that, um, Florania? Rainy, the gym leader. <laughs> I'm sorry. Uh, I'm trying to remember her name and that's trying to be from memory right now. But, um, yeah. She runs the school. She runs the gym that's next door. Really cool. Still trying to figure out where Fern fits into all this, aside from just, oh yes, I'm the brother of the gym leader, kind of thing. You know, being mean about it, not letting me in. Yeah, so it was actually like a very long uh, trek to get to the gym leader as I'm sitting here remembering all that I went through. <laughs> that uh, all you guys are going to see. <laughs> I'm sorry. like that I can't hear the music right now. There we go. For a second I almost thought that didn't get him down all the way. But yeah, uh, now you you can't hear me, but uh, while I was playing, I remember freaking out because 
Oh god, Pokemon is at 24. 25 is the cap, right? Yeah. Yeah, it's really nice. There's a Pokemon Center in here, which is so very, very helpful. Yep. So, talk to people in here. A lot of people. Oh yeah, this person recommended I check out all the books, which I did. I read every single, hit every single bookshelf in here. Um, yep. I never fixed that key. I don't know if I'm ever going to fix that key at this point. Yep. But a lot of books talking about Pokemon, and like I said, I clicked through every single one of them. I'm not going to read every single one of them right now. I don't know. Maybe I might. And if I run out of stuff to talk about, which kind of already happened. That's what I get for doing a very long episode. Yep. Yep. So, while I'm reading through all these, I thought, okay, maybe there's like a secret or something in all of the, in one of the books, and one of these bookshelves is going to have something like really, really secretive. That's not the word I'm looking for. Um, special secret. Something like that. That's what I thought. <laughs> so that's why I read through all of them. And then, like I said, all these trainers were trying to stop me. And, uh, battled all of them. But, uh, it's nice that there were a lot of trainers that I could fight against instead of me having to fight lots of wild Pokemon to get ready for, uh, battling this gym. But, uh, yep, there's my Numo leveling up. I'm so proud of it. So proud. I don't know what level it evolves at. It was not evolved for this gym now that I think about it. Yep, but, uh, yeah, I wanted to get the Trubbish leveled up, too, because Toxic Spikes, man... Toxic spikes were uh, supposed to help me. But yeah, I needed to level Trebush up because what, it's my lowest level Pokemon that's with me right now? I think. You. I'm gonna be honest. I'm like so happy about the Trubbish. The poison is wonderful. Like, I, I'm so happy. Mm -hmm. Yeah, there's nothing on these boards, which I thought there was going to be, but there's not. But this guy's saying, you're the one the boss wanted, which makes me think that Fern is obviously involved something at the school or the gym or something. At least that's what it made me think. Oh, it's easy. Here we go. What's the next Pokemon? Oh yeah, what is a Morlo? Then I saw it and I was like, okay, I remember seeing this. I never remembered its name. And it should have killed it in one hit. How dare it not die? Okay. One more hit and we're good. Yeah, there we go. Super effective. Oh, that's a fairy type now that I think about it. Because it was super... Grass fairy? Yeah, that makes sense. That makes sense. And now I'm yelling at myself right now. Why didn't I not go back and uh, go to the Pokemon Center? Oh yeah, in the sky. This is where I get the coin case from. Yay. 
and read more about Pokemon, uh, Bear Tick, Bear, 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 Bear Tick, Bear or Tick, Google Bear, Bear Art. I'm mumbling at this point. How are you guys listening to this? How am I still talking about this? But yeah, but I also noticed there was a pile of books over here. Which, uh, yeah, just a pile of books over there. I can't get to the one on the table. This guy's fighting me too. Darn it, Fern, you even got the teachers after me. And this was a horrible matchup. Who did I switch? Oh, I am fighting it. What am I doing? What am I doing? Yeah, why am I doing that? What? Did... Switch! Switch! Why wouldn't I switch? Oh my god. Who am I switching to? Oh, okay, yeah, I guess that makes sense a little bit. Fight. Please, why am I not pressing fight? There we go. I'm trying to think something was going on in the background. At the time, that would make sense. Oh, yeah. In cut doesn't affect it. It's fine. We have Struggle Bug and Fury Cutter. Fury Cutter. There we go. Man, what? I want to, like, go back and, like, yell at my past self for stuff I've been doing in this. Like, oh my god. <sighs> Shop it is down. Yeah, anyway, I was really freaking out over levels in this. Like, freaking out. Because I was so worried that they weren't going to listen to me anymore. Because, like, look at that. Almost 23. And Pokeball protective pads. I don't know what they do. I don't know if I ever checked. Yes. I like Murkrow so much better than Haunch Crow. Just because, I don't know, it looks creepier. It's the best way I can put it. Same with uh, Mistrevious and Miss Magius. Mistrevious looks creepier. Oh, and I remember like looking at these and like, these are the answers to like a test or something. Maybe this is what I need. And that's it. Mm -hmm. I remember that move, Feed Up. Honestly, it's not as good as It sounds, which is a real shame because it seems like such a cool move. Mm, computer's not working. Sick fights. See, orders come from top dog. Fern, are you like the principal of the school or or what? Or what? Why am I doing it? No, switch, switch. No. Past self, what are you doing? I know you want the new multi game levels, but not like this. Not like this. Also, yeah, Pokemon Center downstairs. Go.
Yeah, like every single gen has like some version of Pikachu. It's it's the electric like circular cheek things. It they all look like Pikachu's. Come on, you can't you can't tell me I'm wrong. You see a Pikachu when you see the Pachirisu, right? It's not just me. Oh, and you have, now you have more freaking out, me freaking out that my Pokemon leveled up, which usually not something. Come on, now am I being smart? Now am I going downstairs to Pokemon Center? Nope, just checking out the locked rooms. There we go. So at this point, I finally smartened up and am going to uh, Pokemon Center to store my Pokemon to... Uh, to full health because oh yeah because I've never checked out this side like I said not that it'll help because that's locked and I keep thinking that these bookshelves would have something and they don't so now we're going back upstairs this room is locked but I can get in here I remember this room I remember this room. Uh, um, on fairy tales. Oh yeah, that was pretty interesting. But yeah, uh, I found Gym Leader's Diaries. Mm, they're really, really sad, actually. Yeah, Florina's pretty much... Emotions are awful. And this next gym leader, whoever the next one is, it's pretty much insulting me for reading the diary. In Amaria, that was the blue-haired girl. And she sounds like she has depression, actually. And it's, like I said, it's really sad, actually. want to check out the news to see if uh, the ice cream person is there. I keep, there we go. Weather. Skies are clear, but not sunny. So, just one ice cream. Worry about the fairy tale thing. I'm on one more bookshelf. It's Julia's diary. I guess the other gym leader was a uh, cheer captain and gave it up and then Julia became it and yeah like I said it was really sad reading about the gym leaders Come on, he freaking locked me out. So, 
in my head this was going to be an easy battle. Because, hey, bug, fire. Nice and easy. Yeah. Nice and easy. Nothing on that bookshelf. Going downstairs. Yep, no one else could do anything. They could not stop me. I am unstoppable. I'll just keep coming back and at some point I'll win. Burn. Julia. Hmm. Is it is such a cute Pokemon? Come on. I'm smarter than that. I know it's fairy. I know steel. Steel man. And you lost the normal again. So close, come on. One more, one more, you got this. There we go. Shellos are actually really cute. I do like Shellos very much. Yeah, because I was nervous about sending the Rosalia in against it because levels. I thought, oh, okay, it's 18. This should be easy. I think. I think I'm starting to think I was wrong. Yeah, because it's mud bombs are being super effective. And I'm dumb and not switching out. What are you doing? Come on, Ophelia. Oh my god. Future Ophelia is very annoyed with you. Oh my god. back in. I guess I thought it was going to be nice and easy. Quick attack, just get it over with. Boom, yeah, done. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Fast and Furious Pokemon. The Fast and the Furious Pokemon. The, hmm. the fast in the frenzy. I don't know. I don't know. And then I realized as I got to these. Oh yeah, all those books I was reading that had all the information that. Uh, didn't realize I was for. Um, yep, I needed them for all these questions. Yeah. All the books. <sighs> so I kind of went through all of them and tried to. I just tried to remember what they were. Like so there was one I remembered that there were six questions in total. And uh mm -hmm. I mean like there were like a lot of books in the school, so I wasn't sure what I was supposed to remember, what I wasn't supposed to remember. 
And then by the time I got down here, I was like, oh. I need to go all the way back up and find these and find where they were. And I think one of them was like right by the Pokemon Center when you first get in. So I gotta go all the way back down and... Yeah... Well, I didn't know. I mean, I knew I had to read through the books, but I thought it was about something else. I didn't think there was gonna be a quiz at the end of this. Although, I mean, I guess it does make sense seeing as how. Hey, yeah, we're in a school. Should have made sense. Finish the battle, we can get back to the questions. There we go. I'm here, I'm trying to figure out what's- Oh wait, there's more questions. There's eight of them, right? I think there's eight of them. This one I think I remembered. It's 37, right? Yeah. I remembered that one. What? I've got to do quizzes. I've got to do Pokemon battles. What the heck? Ooh, and I was like so excited when I saw this. And I was like, "Look, look at what you could have become. You could become." And then I got nervous that the quiz, the Cinder Club, was stronger than me. There's just a battle of quick attacks here. There we go. And now I'm freaking out more. I do not want to learn defense scroll. If it's important, I'll send it back later. Or get it back later for you would remember wherever I can find him. Mm -hmm. I think Larvitar is like so cute. Like, look at that. Look at it. Adorable. I'm just realizing this is like we're fighting through everyone. Everyone's got like lower level Pokemon. Not like low level, but like. Guys, Pokemon was 17. That Cricketune's 23 right now. Like, what the heck? Yeah, pretty much saying the answers are in the books. Which I don't know the answer to this question. <laughs> Remember, there was a question about Starmie. Okay. At least, like, with the true-false ones, like, you can go back, because you, if you get it wrong, you know what the answer is. It's the one you didn't choose. And... Looking for the Starmie one. It's not that one, it is the very first one. Learned Sprout's Fin at level one. Now I'm contemplating what to do about the rest of the questions. Or, I thought I was contemplating what to do about the rest of them. I guess I wasn't. Kind of weird Eevee spread. Like it looks like it's angry at you. Like most of them are like are like really cute. This one just like, Grrr. like am I the only one who sees that? I 
Yeah, who do I change to? I would keep going back to Crooked Soon because as much as I would go with Roselia, it the levels. I was so worried about the levels. Here I am worrying about Krakatoon. And now I'm worrying. I remember worrying here. Because Rollout just keeps going. And it keeps getting stronger. It should kill me in this hit. Yep. Yeah, I send Swoo back next, because that's low level too. Or, well, same level as it. Not as strong as I'd like it to be. But just need one hit. And we're good. <laughs> More books over here. I was like, okay, 410. That's the one I need for Corsola. And something about the Dusk Skull, Dusk Clops, Dusk Noir, Noir, Noir. Yep. So I am still locked in going back to the Corsola one. And nope, that's the Huntail one. Which I know is incorrect, because sitting here now, I don't even know it. 410. It's 410. I thought maybe I could open the gate from the other side, which I couldn't. So I went this way, I was like, okay, nope, so I've got something to do. I've got to finish these. I'm saving here because I hadn't in a while and I'm gonna level with you guys right now. I googled the answers because I didn't want to go back for them. I googled them. So let's cut to me having the answers. Okay so I've now found the answers. Um, I 15 on that one. I don't remember which ones I had left. Uh, oh, I just had one question left, and it was the Huntail one. Yeah, that's right. Yeah, that was like one of the first ones I saw in the game, I think. But yeah, I didn't... No way I was going to remember these. But yep, answers have been done. Uh, now to the next part. That door is still closed, but going this way. And there's Burn. I am not a loser, dude. Why? Your sister is a gym leader. Come on. But yeah, so before I can even fight his sister, I gotta fight him again. Which. <sighs> I didn't heal. That's right. That's right. What am I doing? Okay. So I wasn't doing anything for a second. I was like, did I accidentally have like another long ghouling session or? Yep. I really should have healed for this fight. What was I thinking? You know, I wasn't because I didn't think I was going to have to fight anyone else. I thought, okay, yeah, let me just see what's further ahead. <sighs> Oh, 
Got one of his Pokemon down, which is great. Two left. Grass on grass. And it's not working. Because he's also flying. Two Pokemon left. What do I have left? Um, Kulava and Swoobat, and Kulava's almost dead. Oh my god. And I put Kulava in. Oh. You're not gonna be fast. Oh, I am faster. That's right. It didn't help, though. And bye bye, Kulava. Swoobat, you're my only hope. Uh, five levels down, and he's got two Pokemon. And that frickin' pluck move is so strong. Shouldn't be that strong. Yep, so, as probably predicted, frickin' lost a fern. But I'll be back. I will be back. As soon as, you know. I must... Yeah, because uh, he's got the ground Pokemon first, and I gotta walk all the way around. Be right back. Alright, and I now have the answers, and I don't know them off the top of my head, but 15 is apparently the answer for that one. And the next question was the Huntail one. Right, that was like one of the first ones I uh, saw, and I don't know the... 367, that's the answer, 367. So yep, got this area all done now, finally. And it's fi finally time to challenge the gym leader. Or not, because Fern's blocking the way again, and he doesn't want me to fight his sister. Come on, she's a gym leader, she has to... Uh, but, yep. So now we gotta fight Fern. But, uh, there's also one other thing. Cause, uh, I didn't heal. I am not healed, so this is just gonna be... I think I'm just, like, staring at the screen right now, like, oh god, I didn't heal, oh god, what do I do, oh god, oh god, oh god. Change Pokemon, that's the answer. Swap into Roselia? Yeah. It's the only thing that'll help right now. Um, yep. Come on, one hit Roselia, you can do it. Yep, one hit. Nice critical hit, too. But now, unfortunately, uh, I was dumb and didn't change Pokemon. Yeah, oh yeah, we're both grass. I'm probably thinking it's going to be fine, because, hey, we're not effective against each other. Lying, man. Lying. So, uh, bye-bye, Roselia. Now we're bringing back out Quilava because fire, grass, I'm still thinking. And uh, look at that health though. Look at that. And yes, I'm faster, but it doesn't help because look at that. That did nothing. That did nothing. Hmm. All that's left is Swoobat. Five levels under, and he's still got two Pokemon. I wasn't 
ready to fight Fern, okay? I wasn't thinking, oh yeah, I'm gonna have to fight him. I was thinking, oh, okay. Probably just gonna make it to the gym leader now. Maybe. Why didn't I heal? Why is that pluck move so freaking strong? Gotta get pluck for one of my Pokemon. It's gonna be amazing. Because look how freaking strong! And yep. I lost to Fern. Ugh, Fern! So, yep. Back to the Pokemon Center to uh, restore my Pokemon to full health. And, uh, swap in Numel and Roselia. Because, hey, he's gonna have that ground type coming up first. And it'll be easier than up first. And now I gotta walk all the way around. And we're back! <sighs> Come on! One more try! One more try! What the heck even is a swag jockey? What the heck? Yep, now we're starting off strong. Knocked down in one hit. And now I'm freaking out because, oh, I'm almost at 25. And yep, we're switching Pokemon. I'm uh, bringing out Numo because Kulava is also at 24. And I'm also freaking out about levels at this point. But I'm still five levels under. With one fire move. Hmm. Pluck should not be that strong. Like, what the heck? I think I'm on my two. No, iron. I still want a flame burst, okay. But he's faster. He's much faster. And so I did bring Quilava back out because hey, this might be the best chance that I have because I'm not losing to Fern again. Like, look at that. That did nothing. And pluck is too effective. Like... Oh, yep. It's gone now. Don't have to worry about it. One Pokemon left. And Kulaba just leveled up. And I'm just staring at the screen like, oh no, 25 was the limit I had in the next batch. So, in my mind, I'm thinking, okay, we're still in the same battle. Maybe it'll still work. And Kulaba's not disappointing. Thank God. I don't know what I would have done if Kulaba just, like, stopped listening to me. Maybe cry. Maybe panic. Probably find another Pokemon and just, like, grind, like, crazy. Or probably just, like, grind the Numel to a higher level. And I'm paralyzed. Come on. In the Mega Drain. Come on. It's not effective, but still. There we go. There we go. There we go. Yeah, like I said, it wasn't ready to fight for him the first time. Yeah, this isn't over. Yeah, right, dude. I'm so infuriating. He thinks just because, like, I can do it, like, I mean, like, yeah, he totally can do it too, but not saying, oh, well, she can do it, of course I can. It's like, no, dude, I'm... Oh, yeah, and this place finally open. So the entrance of the gym, but going back this way, because, hey, press, yes, I need that. What am I doing? What am I doing? Oh yeah, trying to see if I can get around that way, and I can't. So, going back outside, and uh, back this way, back to the gym. Now finally! Maybe? 
so there's another room. Yep, that Florinus gym. Yeah. Yep, Senator um, Sands. So, um... As soon as I read that, I was like, oh no, this has now put a big damper on my plan of just using fire and hoping that will work. But, um, you'll see. You'll see. Maybe. Come on. There we go. Mm -hmm. Yep. Then damage statuses. Mm-hmm. <sighs> Just wait until you see this battle, guys. Just wait. Yep, nice sandy area. All these people are people I fought in the school, so I don't have to actually fight any of her trainers. Mm-hmm. <sighs> Using this as teaching. <sighs> yep, the battle begins. So we're also realizing I didn't switch my Pokemon, which I should have, because that would have been helpful. But I'm also staring at that 25 Kolava and not knowing. Oh, yeah, that's right. Uh, brought out Trubbish to uh, drop down the toxic spikes. Mm -hmm. Yep, those toxic spikes. I was expecting them to help so much. Yep, to pox, to, to, bleh. toxic spikes again, because hey, yeah, I want that added extra damage every time, so hey, yeah. But, uh, kind of stuck here. I'm not really strong. So, get knocked down, it's like, okay, it's a last ditch effort, I'm gonna poison out the mark. Marketus, Marketus. So in my mind, I'm thinking, okay, well, at least everyone coming out now is going to get poisons, and I've got this Pokemon poisons. It'll be fine. See, going to lose health every turn. Going to be fine. Bringing out the Numel, because, hey, my Polava can't do anything anymore. But then I was like, that's right, sands and rock and a frickin' fire type. Not in my favor, odds are not in my favor. And I'm panicking again, and... Whew. No, I'm just thinking, I can go first. But I can't. Of course I can't. So, bye bye Numel. The poison still didn't kill it, so I'm just thinking, okay, I just need one more. And I brought Kolava out. Because even if it's not going to listen to me, just needs to survive that one. Oh, wait, Kolava's listening to me? Like, seriously, what is up with the levels? Did I have the wrong level? I'm freaking out because now Kolava's listening to me, and now Roselia's 25. And now I'm freaking out over that. I was saying I just... Being a drain, and I swapped absorb out for that because it's just better absorb. Yep. So I'm also thinking, okay, so I got a fire Pokemon up front that's actually listening to me right now, and uh, this will be fine, right? Right? And then I'm also thinking, like, it didn't poison it. But it doesn't matter, because 
one hit, it's fine. Yes, the barbs hurts a little bit, but we're fine. And I'm at 26 now. <sighs> I don't remember what a Cradilli is. It's a water type, isn't it? I don't, I don't actually don't remember, but yeah, this one got poisoned, which, hey, yeah, awesome. Finally, nice and helpful for me. But like, ooh, look at that. It's doing more damage than me every turn, which is worrying. Oh my god, did nothing. And look at that. Not even the poison's really helping me right now. Okay, good, I did do Giga Drain. says, hey, give me health. I need it. But the Cradilly freaking knows for cover. That's right. So now with the poison, we're about at even health. But come on, Giga Drain. Still just using Recover. Still just gonna keep going. That poison did a lot that turn, which I was very, very help very, very thankful for, because it was very, very helpful. Now that Cradilly is down. Woo. The Reaper Pokemon are down. And Rosalie is at 26 now too. And I'm like freaking out this whole time over the levels, because I don't know. Hmm. If in my mind, Brit, it's like, oh yeah, Breloom's part fighting. Let me get the flying one out here. Yeah. Effective, but then spore. And I'm asleep. And this dude, it gets healed from it. What the heck? I didn't actually notice that at first, because oh, that's not something I would notice at first, but the poison's healing it. And I'm asleep, and I can't do anything, and I'm panicking, and now it's bleaching me, and it's just going to keep getting more health back, and oh my, this is not how I was expecting this battle to go. This is a long battle. Still a long battle. It's like, look at that. And now, withdrawing, bringing this out. Cacnea is getting poisoned, and now I'm freaking out that, uh, <laughs> that this is going to heal it too. Yep, uh, thank God. Uh, Cacnea is hurt by the poison. It's just <sighs> panicking. I was panicking this whole battle. Mm hmm. Forced through that. So, yep. Three on three right now, even though Cacnea is almost down all the way. And, uh,. Bringing out Krigatoon, because I'm still not sure what's going on with the whole level thing. So. And I'm just hoping, and I'm just hoping that technician will help me. So, yep. Yay, Krigatoon! Growing to level 24! Make me panic again. Now we've got the Krigatoon against the Breloom, who is still poisoned. Was still healed every turn from the poison. And now Cartoon's asleep. And the Bright Loom just keeps healing. Oh my god, I didn't know that was something that could happen. So I gotta see what that ability is because man, that screwed me over.
It'd be nice to have that on my team so I can screw someone else over. Yep, it just keeps healing. <sighs> like I said, at this point I'm just like, just wake up, please, wake up, Kirkatoon, please. Like, there we go. At least the mock punches weren't doing so much. Yep. It's getting help back because I got bleach seated. It's getting help back from the poison. It's just a bad day. This balloon was not great. I'm freaking asleep again. Cricketune, I need you to wake up. I have one potion. That's right. I actually, I use it on the Cricketune. Wow. Was it enough? It was enough to keep it alive. Breloom, this Breloom, my god. I didn't think this was gonna be the tough one. Bye bye, Cricketune. So now I got my two Pokemon who are at levels where they shouldn't be listening to me, yet uh somehow they still are. So uh bring out the lava. Okay, maybe just like a couple plant wheels. And now let's swap Pokemon. Cottony, cot, cottony, cottony. I'm like, I'm like still like just like sitting there like freaking out like, oh my god, this Breloom. What the heck? I still have to deal with this. And uh... <sighs> These moves. Not expecting ground and rock moves in a grass gym. But hey, yeah, I mean, that makes sense. Like, yeah, these are technically all grass Pokemon, so of course the opponents shall use fire Pokemon, because that makes sense. Let's, uh, not have them be able to. Yeah. Spray Loom. Thank God Kulava was actually listening to me, because, again, I don't know what I would have done if... If it didn't... Brylum is still healing. My Polava will not wake up. Now I, 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 I just got a, a Rosalia left. Like I said, I'm freaking out. I just got the Rosalia. This Breloom is healing every single turn. Um, I'm just it's freaking out because this was a very long gym battle and I wasn't expecting this and the Rosalia is listening to me even though it shouldn't and I'm, again, still just so confu confused. No, it's literally just like a matter of like stubbornness at this point. Uh, this. Yep, at least like the Giga Drain's helping to heal me and knock it down a little bit and Poison's freaking healing. Oh my god! This gym battle was a nightmare! It's a freaking nightmare! But, uh, whew. Thank you, Roselia! Oh my god, what a nightmare. Now I'm at level 27, which, hey, yay. Oh. This was a nightmare. I really didn't think I was going to beat her on the first uh, run through it. 
But uh, now this Pokemon up to level 35 will listen to me. So, yay. Yay. That's good. We're good on that. <sighs> I was not expecting that. But, uh, yep. Now I got other areas I can go to, which is awesome. And, um, <sighs> Man, sorry about so long to get an episode up. Uh, it kind of just got lazy and things got bad and sorry. But uh, I get two more videos that I've already uh, recorded. I'm just going to do more voiceovers for. So uh, expect those. I promise I will get one more up this week. I promise that. I cannot promise what day it is, though. But, uh, we're gonna get one more Pokemon video this week. Hopefully by... No, I'm not even gonna say a day, because I don't even know. But, uh, yep. Hope you all enjoyed this, and I will see you all next time. Bye, everyone.